In today's video, I will walk you through my latest transition spec, which includes crash and transform effects. You will learn how to create one of these effects on your own, but first, here it is how it looks. Hi, my name is Adrian and on this channel you will find out editing as well as shooting tips, so tap subscribe if you haven't already and let's start. So in order to create this crash or breaking glass transition effect, you need to have two clips, obviously. Then with the playhead over your first clip, switch to fusion page. You should have only media in and out nodes. Add two image plane 3D nodes, you can drag them from the toolbar like this. Connect media into both of them. Next, select one of the image plane 3D node. And in the inspector, set subdivisions number to 1. In the other image plane 3D, set this control to 10, for instance. This will determine the number of pieces the image will break into. Now open selection tool, search for replicate 3D node and click add. Connect both image plane 3D nodes to the replicate 3D, one to the yellow and second to the green input. Let me preview replicate 3D node. Now go back to one of the image plane 3D nodes where subdivisions control was set to one and in the transform tab, divide the scale value by the subdivisions value set in the second image plane 3D node. So in our case, we will divide it by the number 10. Next, with the Replicate 3D node selected, open Selection tool and add something that's called UV Map 3D. In the inspector, set the orientation to C and click Fit and Center. This is still not the correct output, so in this case we need to swap inputs in the Replicate 3D node. Right-click on the Replicate 3D node, Swap Inputs. Yes, this is what you should see when previewing Replicate 3D node, now, if you preview the UV map 3D, the image is no longer displayed as a composition of the small images, but displayed as a one image. You can zoom it out with the scroll button. Okay, select the UV map 3D and add transform 3D node. And finally, add the renderer 3D that can be dragged down from the toolbar. If you don't see it, close the inspector for a moment. Connect the yellow inputs, and we can preview our output node. As you see, the image is too small. It must fill out the entire Canva. So click the Transform 3D node and in the inspector, correct the Z translation control. 1.25 should be okay. Now the fun part, we're gonna animate the crash breaking into parts effect. In the Replicate 3D node, in the Controls tab, we will keyframe the Z translation. And in the Jitter tab, we're gonna keyframe XYZ and rotation XYZ. But before we do it, let me go back to the edit page, put the playhead to the moment from which the transition should start and overlap both clips, like this. Okay, back to the fusion page and in the replicate 3D node, keyframe the controls we've talked about. So Z translation, then in the jitter tab XYZ translation, and XYZ rotation. Now go to the last frame and play with the controls to your liking. So this is what we've got. You can smooth the animation in spline, select all the checkboxes, click zoom to fit and from three dots menu make sure you have show only selected tool selected. Select all the keyframes, Control A, and switch to a smooth, for example. Okay, we're done in Fusion page. Let's go back to the Edit page. So this is how it looks frame by frame. You can, for instance, fade out the clip to make it even more seamless. And the hit and break or breaking glass transition is ready. 
Let me quickly reset what we've done and show you how you can utilize my crash and transform transition pack. The installation is very straightforward. All you need to do is open Fusion page and drag and drop DRFX file into the notes panel. You will be asked to install it, in my case overwrite, and ready to go transitions will be available under effects, video transitions. You can find them by typing crash. The crash zoom is the default one available in DaVinci. So let me quickly go through all of them. Let's start with crash transition. Just simply drag and drop it between two clips as any other transitions in Resolve. In the inspector, you've got a bunch of controls to customize it to your needs. So you can set subdivisions, of course. You've got edge detection, very handy if you want to imitate the breaking glass. You have displace control to introduce even more randomness and raggedness. You can play with Luma here, add some glow and trails. You can set the tint if you wish. And of course you have the full control of the animation. Hope you've got the idea. The second transition, which is called Crash Transition Dissolve, is pretty much the same, but after the first clip is crashed, the second one is gradually fading in. Let me show you that frame by frame. And the last one, my favorite, Crash Transform. What it does is it crashes the first clip and the debris, the parts, are transferred into the second clip. More or less effect from the Transformers movie. And that wrap up my latest transitions pack that is available on my coffee page. Hope you're gonna like it. Tell me what you think about it. Please leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and see you in the next one.